UCT students have occupied the university's administration building in protest of a lack of transformation at the institution. Students have been protesting on campus calling for the statue of Cecil John Rhodes to be taken down as part of a move to force transformation. We are occupying Brelna at the seat, at the seat of where supremacy we shall learn, we shall engage and we shall transform this place. This institutional culture, the institutional culture is very white and elitist. And black students are expected to thrive in this type of surrounding. Where? When we don't see ourselves here. I'm here to remind you that it's not just about the statue. Do not be fooled. Just because this statue will be removed, and it will be removed, just because it's uh, removed doesn't change the institutional racism at UCT. There's a range of issues. I suppose they all come together under the idea of transformation and racism. And I think what underlies that is the feeling of many black students that they feel that this is still a white university and that as black students they feel like they don't belong here. They feel like outsiders. And I recognize that. I think it's genuine. And the university has been struggling for a while and continues to struggle to address that issue. Black people can identify with UCT. Black people can be proud at UCT because UCT doesn't speak positively about your well-being. UCT doesn't speak positively about your image. I'm impressed to see that uh, not only Africans, not only colors, not only whites that are here, all of you, you are here in fighting against racism. We must applaud the UCT students' movement for what they came with, because without you, the society is leaderless. We need you in our society. You need to fight here inside the UCT. There are often uh, black authorities, writers, literature, which we could do more to include in the curriculum so there is more balance. <coughs> and they certainly feel we don't do enough, and I'm sure they're right that we don't do enough. The biggest stumbling block to the transformation of this university, the fact that white folks think that black people cannot be professors by the numbers is, is a manifestation of an ingrained, long-standing cultural attitude that white leadership is the sine qua non for progress in this country. So I suppose in spite of our goodwill, we haven't succeeded. That's really the point. We don't have black women professors. We have very few South African born African professors. I must say that one of the ways we think it's appropriate to compensate is by bringing in black professors from other countries. And we have lots of them. And that's because we think that actually color does matter. As I gave examples of, of being able to see role models. So, but the focus on black South African professors we haven't made progress yet. We haven't achieved that. Some of the students say they will remain at the Bremna building overnight. They have brought pillows and other sleeping material as they prepare to camp in the university's administration building to put pressure on the university to respond to their demands. The university says it will refer grievances to the council, which meets next month.